So today we're going to learn the parts of a circle. So the first thing you need to know is that a circle is a set of points equidistant from a center C. So right here is our center. So if I draw a line anywhere from C to a point on the circle, I'm going to get the same distance between C and that point. So C is the center of our circle. So the radius of a circle is a segment joining the center to a point on the, on the circle. So right here we have radius DC drawn in. A chord is a segment joining two points on the circle. So we have this chord right here, H, J. And a diameter is a special kind of chord which contains the center of the circle. So this segment right here, it's a chord because it connects two points of the circle, but it's a diameter because in the center of AB is C. So AB is the diameter of our circle. So now we're just going to identify each segment, like what it is. Is it a radius, a chord, or a diameter? So segment OA. So OA, oh, and just so you know, O is the center of our circle. So this segment joins the center to a point on the circle. So OA is a radius. LW is this segment right here. So it's a chord because it joins two points of the circle together, but it contains our center. So therefore, it's a special kind of chord called the diameter. DW joins this point to this point. And since it doesn't go through the center, it's just called a chord. AW. So that wasn't drawn in, but it's it would be this segment right here. AW is another chord because it does not it joins two points together but does not go through the diameter. DL is also a chord. WO, so this segment right here, it contains a point on the circle. It connects a point on the circle to the center of a circle, so it is a radius. And if we were to draw in this line right here, LA, it would it would join two points of the circle together but it doesn't contain the center so it's a chord OL so this segment right here it joins a point on the circle to the center of the circle so it's a radius so that's all we're doing today we had to learn the parts of a circle so that in the next lesson we can talk about special kinds of lines that go through a circle.